What's up, Clyde Plan? X Clouded here, bringing you another episode of my Pokemon Zeta Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on the gym in Agassiz Town, and we defeated Jonathan, and got our, I want to say, our third badge? Let's double check. Yes, we do have three badges now. And afterwards, we um, made our way around Agassiz Town to get the machete, and then we're now back here because... We wanted to go back and get the uh, get everything cut that we could, and also grab the dolly, which is going to be used to move things that require strength to move instead of actually having the HM move on our Pokemon. And I don't think we made it. This did we go through here? I don't think we need to go through here. I'm actually just gonna use some repels and uh, double check. If we've missed anything in a uh, Naragex, Sue. Whoa, my person went up way too. Oh, hello, Hypno, old pal. That got us uh, strength from the stupid guy trying to rip everyone off, selling it for I think it was a million Poke Dollars. And uh, we're gonna make our way back up towards the be very, very beginning area. Just to make sure we didn't miss any areas we could use cut or strengthen. So now we're back. We're back in Route 301, which is the. Is it the first route we entered? Yes. And so now we're back in Zarivar Town. And uh, I don't think there's anything we can do here. No, we don't want to use another repel right now. Um, okay, so we will need to come back here, but we have to wait until we get Surf first. And it uh, looks like that's the only thing that um, we'll need to come back here for. So it looks like we're going to be able to make our way to... It's not, no, it's, it's a Fianga, Fianga City, because to get to the gym there, we have to cut down some trees, so let's just use a repel really quick. Not a Moonstone. Where's our super repels? Here's our super repels. And we can actually stop by the, um, the Pokemon Center that has all the, all the different things in it, like the... The Nuzlocke Guru guy, because we need to buy some things off of him. And, um, I can't remember where the IV changer is. He might have been in that last town. Hmm. I'll probably have to find that later, because I don't want to waste a bunch of time just lurk, look, looking, lurking, lurking around, looking around for him. Actually, I think he is here. I'm 99% sure... He's in one of these houses. Not this house. He must be in this house right here. I think this is this guy. Yes, this guy's the IV changer. We know what IVs are. Okay. Yes. Yes. We're not going to change them right now. I want to check who we need to change IVs of because I know we need to change somebody's. But who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Okay. Um, Halucha's fine. Siege's fine. Rotom's fine. Dwebble's fine. I think it was Marowak. Look at that attack stat. One. Yeah. But was it Marowak that I want to waste it on? Or I guess it wouldn't be wasting, but do I really, really want to use it on Marowak? Who else did... Was it, was it Sandial I was thinking of using it on, actually? Let's, let's double check. Let's double check. Oh, we haven't checked out our Kadabra either. Okay, so our... Oh, he's modest. I wanted to change him to uh, Adamant. His special attack IV is perfect. Why? 
Ooh, Kadabra is holding the Twisted Spoon. Let's take that. Thank you. Now, let's see, uh... What you are. Impish Nature, that raises defense, I think? And lowers your special attack. That's terrible. Your IVs are not very good either. So, yeah. This Kadabra is, uh, kind of booty right now. So I think I am going to use the IV stone on Marowax attack stat because having a one IV in attack, nah, that's just not going to cut it. Okay. Uh, we know what an IV is. Oh, okay. Did I? Did he ask us? Do we know what an IV is? Either way, yes, we do want to change. Ooh, did, what did I click? I don't know what I clicked. I'm not used to the the speed of this right now, but since I do have that, uh, do you, do you know what an IV is? Yes. Yes. Attack. Attack of Marowak. Fuji needs his attack higher. Yes. All right. What do you change it to? I want to know if he always sets it to the perfect IV because if he does, that would be that'd be wonderful. Ooh, he is perfect. I think he always sets it to perfect IV. So now our Marowak will do be uh, will be doing a lot more damage than he was before. So that's good. Um, let's not have Saria out in front now, actually, because she's level thirty. Um, let's just put Dragonov out front. But now we need to make our way back to the uh, Fianga City because there's a gym that we need to face. If I can go through here. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Did not run into any Pokemon there, so no repels for us. That needs to be used up. It does seem to be loading a little smoother than last episode, but still not as smooth as I would like it to. But... I can't complain too much. Uh, let's go ahead and use some repels here. Alright, now we should be on our way. No more um, delays. Come on, there we go, there we go. There we go. Okay, now we're in... What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, Onega Town. I don't think it's this place. It might be. It might be. Is it? Is it? Is it? Nope, we gotta go through this cave again. Because I'm pretty sure it is Fianga City. And I'm pretty sure it is Fianga City that also has the... Um, Nuzlocke Guru. Almost forgot his uh, title. I always forget that we do have the bicycle. Speaking of bicycles, I went on a bike ride today. Uh, Katie and I went down to this trail place here. I think we were about four miles, I want to say. And uh, it felt pretty nice at first, but then on the way back, it felt like it got like 20 degrees hotter. And it's mostly uphill on the way back, so that wasn't very fun. So let's go uh, use strength on these boulders. Get out the way. Get up out the way. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pell's effect wore off. Yes, we want to use another. We want to use another. Alright, out of there. Fianga City, okay. Now, let's go to the Nuzlocke Guru. I know we need to buy some more, um... Actually, he's the Nuzlocke Lord. <laughs> let's buy some... What do we need? Nuzlocke Balls. We could buy 67 if we wanted to, but let's, let's only get 17. Put us at a nice even 20. I would like to buy some of these uh, T 
TMs. But I'm not sure exactly which. I know Draco Jet will be pretty useful. I'm hoping Kingdra can learn that. I wouldn't see why not. But uh, we're not going to get any, any of those right now. So let's go towards the gym and hope that uh, it doesn't give us too many troubles. Use the machete. Alright, here we are, guys. Oh, yay, puzzle. Hey, champ in the making, the Fianga City Gym is led by a robot from the Aura region. He used to guard the mines there, but his memory got corrupted during a cave-in. Now he wants to battle everyone. That makes him the perfect opponent. PK096 uses Steel-type Pokemon. Fighting and Fire beat Steel, so those are your best bets. Good luck. Actually, I want to check something. Is it this uh, town that it's in? I hope. Because I don't want to go all the way back through. Please, please, please. Oh, it is. I'm not going to worry about it right now. We'll go there after the gym battle. After the gym battle, we'll go back. Because um, I'm, I think... You guys remember where that uh, Beedrill was in that little um, closed off area of like a forest where we had to cut through some trees to get to? I think the Pokemon changes there because I didn't catch it. So we can um, possibly catch something else and we went the wrong way. Let's, let's actually let's try going this way. I doubt it's the right way. Yeah, it just takes us right back down there, so... I'm guessing we might get Rock Smash after this gym, since there are a bunch of rocks around here, but, uh... Who knows? I think we went that way last time, so let's go down right here. Okay, maybe not... Up right... Which way did we go last time? We went up, didn't we? Let's go down... And then... Left... That takes us back to the... Wow. This is, uh... This isn't very fun. Okay, right here we went up last time. So let's, uh... Let's try this. Alright, alright. Down and right. Okay, here we are. Is that him? He's got a bronze orb beside him. Who do we want to lead with? He uses steel types. Um... I'm thinking we want to lead with Fuji. Possibly and have Halucha for backup Sounds pretty good to me. So let's uh, let's challenge him Halt all intruders halt all intruders the order region must be guarded intruder intruder in the mine All right PK 096 Robo leader he's got five Pokemon Wow all right clink so that's not a bad start for us. Let's just go for a Bone Meringue. This should do... I like that damage much better with that uh, 31 IV. Nice experience. Bronze Zor. Bronze Zor's part Psychic. Oh, he has Levitate. He has Levitate, doesn't he? See how much his Strength does? Uh, it's not going to do much, though. He resists it. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Iron defense. Oh boy. Um, he has psychic type, psychic type, so we don't want to switch into Halucha because um, Halucha's weak to psychic and he'll just take uh, normal damage against fighting time moves. I swear I'm clicking Pokemon. Pokemon, there we go. This game's a little touchy with that. Uh, I think the safest switch in might be Tom. Tom's pretty bulky, and um, I don't think this Bronzor can do much to it. Plus, he's more defensive than specially defensive. Future Sight. Okay, I see you. Let's go for the Confuse Ray. I still wish this thing had Thunder Wave. Psychic's going to do 14, so that's nothing to be uh, scared about. Let's go for a Hydro Pump. We land the Hydro Pump, and... 
Almost takes it out. Can he hit himself? He does hit himself. Does he? Can he shake himself out? Not quite. We take the future side attack. That does nothing. All right, let's just go for... Oh, he might heal up. Let's go for a shockwave. There's a super potion. Let's see how much this shockwave does. It does... It looks like a two-hit KO from... Okay, full restore. Wow, he really loves his bronzor. Hydro pump. There you go, Tom. There you go. Oh, not quite. Doesn't quite take it out. Let's go for a shockwave here. Are you going to heal again? No, you're not. Thank you. So he's probably out of uh, potions. That look like his ace, maybe? Level 29. Metang. Okay, Metang. Metang doesn't have levitate. Nope. I think they should give... Um, if they give Metagross a mega, I think they should give him levitate. I think that'd be uh, pretty cool. Take away his ground weakness. Ooh, Metang is defensive, though. Zen Headbutt. We take that rather well, and the ooh, we're fine. We're fine. Let's go for another Boomerang and take it out. Not even bad. Nice experience. Nice in level 28. Or 29. Uh, Honedge. You don't have Levitate either. And uh, we can't sit in Halucha because your part Ghost... Shadow Sneak doesn't do very much at all. This Bone Meringue is going to take it out. Two hits. Uh, ooh, critical hit too. I don't think the critical hit mattered because he was in yellow after one hit of the Bone Meringue. Magneton is the last Pokemon, so Fuji is putting a lot of work in this gym. All Entraders must be exterminated. Wow, PK. Mirror Shot. Oh! <gasps> Really? This is his ace. We just use an Ivy Stone on Fuji and then he dies. Isn't that lovely? You woke up already? What's Mirror Shot even do? I've never even, I've never heard of Mirror Shot. I don't even know what type of attack it is. <sighs> well, I guess we're gonna add Sandile to our party. Oh, Fuji, why? I did not think that would kill. <sighs> No, you don't want helping hand. Get out of here. <sighs> Gyro ball. <sighs> That's a bummer. Wow. That is not a good time. 
That is not a good time. So, all right, Croco is now uh, with us. So we'll need to give him the experience share. And um, we do need to go. I need to heal up because Suri is paralyzed. Um, back to. Okay, in here. I think this is the place where we could give someone an adamant nature. Now he gives us return. No. Where was the person that let us teach one of our Pokemon or give one of our Pokemon adamant nature? I know one of these guys lets us trade a Pokemon that has 1 HP. I think it's this guy. Yeah. I thought it was in here. Maybe not. Where are you, adamant guy? Hmm. I swore he was in here somewhere. I guess not. I guess not. Where was he? I'll have to look up after I'm done. But uh, I'm actually going to go back through here and go to the um, the place I was referring to where we saw that Beedrill was. Because I think the Pokemon changed there because I've seen different ones. Okay. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Repel. That's right. Repel. There we go. Dweeb is practicing its bug bite move for the next battle. That's because Dweeb knows how to work it. Dweeb does not mess around. Get out of here and, um, is it up? I think it's up. I don't think it really mattered which way we went, but, uh, either way, we're getting out of here. Alright. It's up near where the, all those berries were. Right up here, yes. We gotta go through here, and let's see if Beedrill is still here or not. Tangela. So it does change. I kind of just want to wait. I don't know how it, like, what determines what Pokemon is in there or not, but I kind of want to wait and see what possibilities we can have um, to catch a Pokemon in there. So let's go back through the cave. I hate this cave. We need Fly or something. Stupid cave. Third time going through this cave in this episode. At least we have repels. But it uh, looks like we can make our way, um, I think, to the cave in Agassiz Town that we couldn't go in until after we got stronger, is what it said. So we're going to make our way all the way back there. Which shouldn't take too long. And we can, uh... Oh, it's another cave uh, that we have to go through. I hate caves. I hate caves. Okay. Get out of here. I'm actually gonna stop at the Pokemon Center really quick just to heal up. I think we do need to buy some more repels. So, let's uh, heal up really quick. And if I remember correctly, the girl beside uh, Nurse Joy here will sell us things. 
Will you sell us repels? Probably. Maybe. Yes. Super repels. We have three. Let's buy... Seven. Alright, there we go. Got our repels. And now we can uh, continue making our way back to Agassiz Town. I'm hopping on the bike because I keep forgetting we have a bike. Is it down? I think it was down. Yes, it is down. Okay. Now we got to use another super repel. Get through all this crap. Oh! We have... Don't forget, we have a magic carp in the daycare center. Because <laughs> I just left him in there. I think it was a magic carp anyway. But, uh, oh, no. I must be thinking... I thought this was the daycare route for some reason, but that is, like, way back at the beginning. But... If we ever lose our Seedra, we can make it uh, back this way and uh, pick up ourselves a pretty powerful magic card probably and evolve it into a Gyarados. I'm guessing it would just need one level up. So, okay, here we go. Back to the desert. We don't need to use another repel because uh, we can't run a Pokemon in the desert for some reason. You think you would when you go down into the sand like that? think you'd be able to encounter Pokemon. So here we are in Agassiz Town. And now we can finally make our way into this cave. Hopefully. I don't know where else we would go. Okay, yes, we are in the cave. I'm gonna hop off the bike. First encounter in the cave! <gasps> Scraggy! Scraggy, that is amazing. Okay. Saria. I don't know why the background's all black like that. Swagger, Scraggy, really? Alright, 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 alright. Don't miss your sleep powders, come on. Did I not say I'm confused? Or did I snap out of confusion already? Maybe it's Swagger on me, because I'm confused. But we can just go for, let's uh, throw some Nuzlocke balls at this Scraggy. Come on, Scraggy! Yeah! Not even bad, Scraggy! Alright. It immediately headbutts anyone that makes eye contact with it. Its skull is massively thick. Cool. This Scraggy is going to be named Callum, of course. Of course. Alright, so now we can continue our way through this cave. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a lot of ladders. This is not going to be fun at all. I feel like I'm... Okay, now the background is uh, like that. I'm going to have to buy a ton more super repels for this place. There are so many ladders! Lunatone. Oh, come on. Yep, I'm going to have to use some repels because I don't want to keep running into Pokemon like this. We already have our encounter for this cave. This is why I hate caves. Caves are stupid. <laughs> oh, man. We use our super repel. We have eight left. Let's try and get out of here. Okay, that goes nowhere. Maybe this one will go somewhere. Oh, come on. Anywhere down here. I'm so bad with caves. I hate caves so much. Is this the exit? Oh! This is the exit. Okay. Okay. 
don't think we can encounter anything in this grass. It's a town. We couldn't in the last town. We need to get rid of this repel that we still have on. Okay. Can we run into anything in this grass? I want to say no. Oh, this is the music I really like. It was playing in that, uh, the town with the river that had no water in it. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can catch a Pokemon in here. We can talk to people. This town is boring. I came here to check out the Dracona Stone, but some cops said I wasn't allowed. Lame. Are you a fan of flying type Pokemon? Yes, I am. Okay, do you want to trade a Dodrio for my Farfetch? I don't have Dodrio. Do 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 Why would you trade a Dodrio for a Farfetched? I'm rather fond of Turkana Town. It's a nice, quiet place that's out of the way for many people. We're all friends here. Oh, that's so nice. Nice place, nice place, nice little place. Right, so I talk to you three. Let's just go in this house and see who's inside. Knock, knock. I'll let myself in. You just imagine people barging into your house all the time. They don't even knock. Stop moving, please. Psychic type Pokemon are weak to bug types, dark types, and ghost types. You know why? Because the human mind is afraid of ghosts, bugs, and the dark. My friend, take this. Heavy ball. Alright, thank you, thank you, thank you. Often the heavier po uh, Pokemon is, the more power is packing behind it. A heavy ball will catch heavier Pokemon a lot easier. Us explorers have to look out for each other, you know. Thank you, sir. <gasps> a Flaffy? That awful woman next door is doing something with her why nots. I don't know what, and I don't like it. I managed to save one of them anyways. She's got so many, she'll probably never notice. Do you want it? I'll give it to you for a Maractus. I don't have a Maractus. Well, I mean, if you don't care for abused Pokemon, you don't have to take it. Oh, okay. Flaffy! Oh, guys, by the way, if you didn't notice, uh, Katie and I started our Fire and Leaf Green co-op, and we haven't actually begun the game because we're in the Choose Our Starter process part. One of my starters is Flaffy, so if you haven't voted, go vote for Flaffy, and I will thank you very much. Flaffy is a great electric-type Pokemon that evolves into Ampharos. Hey, Corlette uses Ampharos, and he's in the Elite Four. Okay, I'm not looking forward to that. Ampharos is too powerful. Is this the Why Not Lady? Get out of the way, please. People always get in the way in this game. They weren't kidding. Uh, there's nothing going on in this building. Nothing at all. Uh, what? I can't do anything else. Why not? Okay. A bunch of why nots in there. See who's in this house. Wigglytuff just chilling on the chair there. It's like, where's my dinner? Those team Asgard Rufians will never take Turkana. We'll lay down our lives to preserve the peace. The Turkana stone in our town. They say it marks where Arceus stood as he created our region. Huh. Perhaps there's still a part of him there. Interesting. Hello there. Can I ask you a question? Which is your favorite out of the following types? Watcher. Are you going to give me a stone? We chose water last time, didn't we? Do we need a certain stone for anything? Can I just say... I feel like if I say water, she'll give me a water stone, but I've already answered that before. Fire. Fire stone. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Did we say water stone before? I think we said water. I think we said water. Can we uh, make a secret base right here? Oh wait, not everyone has secret power because
Fuji's dead. Fuji's dead. <laughs> What's Croco have? Torment, Sand Tomb, Assurance, and Mud Slap. Um, I'm thinking Sand Tomb. Let's do Sand Tomb. Now let's see if we can actually make a hidden base here, or if we have to buy buy it. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna have to. Unless we could just use secret power like this. No, we can't. Alright, so it looks like we're, we've got to buy pretty much everywhere to gain access to uh, different parts of the secret base. Which is kind of... So I'm guessing this is the stone everyone's talking about. I apologize, but I cannot let any civilians pass right now. The Draconis Stone has been unofficially linked to Team Asgard's plans. Huh. I'm looking for clues... I'm looking for clues. You're all looking for clues. I'm looking for clues. I'm curious. You guys remember the uh, like the little police house in Fianga? Was it Fianga? One of the one of the towns had. I don't even know if I have to heal or not. But one of the towns had a like a police house. And it gives you the option to take up tasks. I wonder if you can go there, take up a task, and then come back here and be like, Hey guys, I'm helping you out, blah, blah, blah. But um, I'll look more into that a little bit. I think that's what we got to do next because we're kind of at a stopping point here. Let's just go back through that cave. Oh boy, cave. Okay, um, that'll be for the next episode. So if you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, a comment, um, answer the question of the day, and maybe even subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.